this week it's really gonna start. I'm really knocking going out on the head. I literally cannot believe that it is only 4 p.m. It's absolutely freezing. Interesting to learn about anesthesia. I'm not prioritizing socializing or going out whatsoever. This is now go time for the preparation towards my exams. Good morning, it is Tuesday and I've just finished the case open for the last case of SEM3. All about anesthesia and a wrap up of a few other concepts. I'm starving, let's get back for breakfast. So it is another week at med school and wow, I have so much to do. I know I've said this so many times before, but over the weekend I went to London, went to Winter Wonderland and I have done no work whatsoever on case nine, which is the penultimate case before starting case 10, which about a boy who was in a car crash and the main topic is all about anesthesia, ventilation, and consciousness, unconsciousness. And yeah, there's just a huge, huge amount to do. I'm looking through my timetable and I realize I only have three days per case. So this week, it's really gonna start. I'm really knocking going out on the head. I'm not gonna be doing that anymore. I'm not gonna be drinking hardly anything at all. I'm not prioritizing socializing or going out whatsoever. This is now go time for the preparation towards my exams. I have so many exams, three or four exams, and the big one, the semester test, is like the second week of January. So there is not a lot of time, and I do not feel good or prepared in one bit. So priority this week, get through case 10 as much as I possibly can, and also just get myself in the right headspace, ready for exam prep. <laughs> So it is 10 past nine and I've done nearly five hours of building question banks on muscles. And I don't even think much of it has actually gone in my brain because I'm reading some of the end notes and I'm like, have I, do I even know what's going on here? But I have got a huge amount of question banks written, which is a positive. So when it does come to the active recall revision, you know, the question banks have been built, so that's good. So I'm just gonna spend a bit of time now zoning out of study because the muscle fiber business is doing my head in a little bit. Gonna cook some food, eat some food, and then probably continue. <laughs> And so we are at the 1 a.m. mark and also the six hours and 40 minutes of studying. Wow, I really needed this. I just feel so, so behind and I just think it's a good way to start a new week at med school. Really motivated. Pretty much today, all I've managed to get through is muscle. Everything from muscle from last week's case. So I've built all my question banks on those. I've used my favorite tool, which is actually called Notion to Anki. It's a website and it allows me to just build my question banks in Notion and then just drag and drop them into this website, which then allows me to open it up in Anki. And the format is fantastic. It keeps the photos, keeps everything. And that just basically means that I get the best of both worlds. I get to organize my life on Notion, which is just fantastic at organization. But then when it comes to Active Recall, the best platform to be using is Anki because it's just really good. It's just a nightmare building question banks on Anki. That's why I don't like building them on Anki. I build them on Notion. Yeah, that's it. I mean, it's 1 a.m. I'm knackered, ruined, and it is definitely time for bed because I've got a big day of studying tomorrow. Let's do it. So 
So good morning. It is Wednesday and I feel so fresh after having such a long restful sleep. It is nearly midday and that's because this morning I've just taken it easy. I had a coffee, I had some breakfast. Whilst watching a documentary called Body Donors and it's about life after death. It's basically about people that give their bodies to research and to dissections. I find it quite just uh, eerie the whole process of giving up your body and then that body being there to be dissected on by medical students. So it was an amazing documentary. It's really quite touching because you follow the journey and the life of that person whilst they're alive and then you show them on the dissecting table with students around them just, you know, picking the skin off. And yeah, I don't know how I feel about it. I think it's an incredible thing and I'm so glad that there are people out there that do donate their bodies, but it is definitely an eerie experience to any budding medical student or any anatomist out there that's never yet done it. Once you first see that body on a table, you know, you're removing body parts, it, it hits you that this was a real human being at one point that was alive and living and breathing and they've done the most amazing thing, giving up their body for your research, but wow, it can hit you, can make you feel a bit queasy. But other than that, feel super refreshed, super positive, and I'm gonna get on with more revision today, get a lot done, hopefully, and I'm gonna go swimming in an hour, because I need to get fit, so let's do it. <laughs> And I am back from swimming, which was absolutely amazing. And I know it does an amazing thing for your health, but I can't help but feel that after every swimming session on a Wednesday from one till three, it just takes a huge amount of my day up because I get home and I'm starving. So I end up cooking, had some food, and now it's 5 p.m. And I can't help but feel a little bit tired and a little bit drowsy after such an intense workout. I've only done one hour's studying before I went now I just want to finish off last week's case. I've got so much to get through in terms of building notes. So ideally I want to get another five hours done this evening before I start on the Fizz Farm revision before tomorrow morning's 9 a.m. Fizz Farm practice session. And then I need to smash out case 10, which is the final case. So lots to do, lots to get on with, but a great swimming session nonetheless. All right, so with dinner, I'm watching quite another morbid um, documentary on Channel 4. It's called My Dead Body. It's basically about another woman who has donated her body to science, but also offered a live dissection on national television. So um, yeah, quite eerie. Obviously we deal with it all the time, so I'm used to seeing this, but I imagine for the average person, seeing a live dissection, like live, as in the skull being removed, the brain being removed, it's quite intense. And so it is midnight and I've done four and a half hours on forest of straight productive work. So nowhere near as much as I did yesterday. I had about two extra hours, but I am really, really happy because I have just managed to get through pretty much all of case nine content. So tomorrow the plan is to start on case 10, get that done ideally by case close on Monday, get all the notes written. So then from Tuesday onwards, I can just start my active recall, going through my Anki decks and finishing off any vision notes that I haven't already done. I've also just realized I've got a lot of lectures to go through because this term, this semester, I've, I've just not really been watching any lectures. I've just been prioritized building the notes. So that is a priority as well during my revision period to go over the lectures, to make some, you know, high yield notes from them and just add those into question banks. But with it being midnight, it is time to call it a night and go to bed. So catch you guys in the morning. At 9am, I've got a CCA revision session. Let's go. Good morning, it is Thursday and I've just finished a two hour practice CCA doing the neurological examinations, doing injections, intradermal injections, drug dilutions, and yeah, a lot of fun. But um, now I've got to get back to the flat, have some breakfast and practice for my anatomy tutorial. 
yeah, so I do definitely appreciate the university giving us two hours to do the Fizz Farm CCA practice that we just had this morning. They had out all of the different things that we've learned from SEM 1, SEM 2, and obviously this semester, SEM 3. And that is because for our summer exams, our summer CCAs, we're actually gonna be tested on all of the CCA content from semester one, semester two, such as uh, ECGs, inhalers, metered dose inhalers, blood pressures, drug dilutions, and everything else from those first two semesters. And that makes sense because obviously the main component of medicine is your CCAs. You know, from year three to year five, you, the weighting of the examinations is heavily towards your CCAs. And that makes sense because you need to be able to show that your clinical aptitude is higher than your written exams because that's more important at the end of the day. But it was just good to have two hours to practice today for some of the SEM3 CCA stuff, but also just touch up on my knowledge from SEM1 and SEM2. I was just finish some breakfast and get on to my anatomy work for this week, case 10, because I've got an anatomy tutorial today at 1 p.m. So that's the plan. penultimate anatomy tutorial done and dusted today it was about neck which is kind of weird because we've just done the leg and we've gone straight back up to the neck for our final week of anatomy but it was all about the triangles quite intricate but um i used teach me anatomy which i find as the best resource for learning anatomy yeah anyway that's that let's go Okay, just finished a lovely lunch and I had an apple and an orange as well. And I was actually just speaking to my friend uh, on FaceTime and he just said you make it look so easy to have your five a day in like a 20 minute period, which is what I've basically done. But my life hack is having a fruit bowl on your kitchen surface because if you see it every day, you're reminded that it's there and it needs using. So I always add it to my shopping list and I don't wanna waste it, so I just end up eating it. Even though I wanna have a chocolate, and I probably will also have a chocolate, but I've also just had my apple, my orange, and all my veg for my food. It's time to do some studying. All right, so I am just about to head to work because it is 10 to seven, and I start DJing from seven to 11. I've had a, a very busy day, you know, starting at nine, then with the anatomy, and then I've done about three and a half hours of dedicated revision, building question banks, not actually revision. Revision is going to start when the question banks are finished, but I do feel good for it. I feel like I've been a lot more productive this week. It's like, like last year version of me. So I feel good about that. I just need to keep this up now until my exams. So I'm going to head to work, DJ, then come back and probably call it a night. So catch you guys tomorrow. Good morning, it is Friday and I'm off to my anatomy tutorial and it is absolutely freezing, minus two degrees. But even though it is so, so cold, there's something so beautiful about this weather. It's so fresh and crisp, uh, blue skies, but it is freezing. Anyway, I need to get there, so see you after the session. Good afternoon guys, it is Friday and it is the afternoon and that is because this morning I started with a really great anatomy tutorial which actually marks the final tutorial of SEM3 again with our amazing supervisor. It was actually about the knee anatomy which is really random because this semester we've gone through the leg, then yesterday we went up to the neck and then we finished again on the knee. So it just seems a little bit random the order that we've done it but again it was a great session. And actually, I've just spent the last couple of hours doing a review for my travel channel. If you guys want to check out what travel content I produce, make sure you click on that card up there and watch that and subscribe to the channel. But that's taken some time reviewing this for my editor. And now, obviously, it's one o'clock, so I'm starving, need some food, and I'm going to get some work done and then go to my dissection room later on and then work tonight. Let's go. <music> All right, 
Uh, so I've just spent the last couple of hours building question banks on Gemon Anesthesia, which is basically this week's case. And it's actually really interesting to learn about anesthesia for the first time. Learning about the muscle relaxants and, you know, uh, ventilation that's required, the different drugs that you use. I, I say this a lot in my videos, but it just, like, I love making sense of medicine and all these things that you hear about, such as anesthesia, like, what is it? And just by studying it and building these question banks, I'm learning about it. And, it, you know, it's, it really does interest me. So, yeah. Yeah. That's the plan for the rest of the afternoon, but, but first I have got to get to my dissecting room practical for the next hour. Let's head over to the Stopford. I literally cannot believe that it is only 4 p.m. and it's already dark. It's absolutely freezing. It doesn't even feel like the UK. I feel like I'm in the Alps. Right, I'll see you in an hour. And so it is now Saturday, the weekend. So that is the end of this week at med school. I had a great dissecting room practical session. And that is again, because I spent some time going through the anatomy, going through the Aplin videos, just making sure that I was up to speed before the dissecting room practical. And again, the dissecting room practical session is just a great opportunity to really see how the things that you learn about translate into the real body. So I do hope you guys have enjoyed this one. That pretty much marks the end of semester three and all the content for all the week's cases. So now the priority is just to enjoy Christmas best I can and also study for my three exams throughout January. So look guys, I hope you have enjoyed this semester and all the videos from this semester. If you have, make sure you hit that like button and also subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell notification button so you get notified for the weekly uploads. And also if you wanna see more from me, there's gonna be lots of videos on this page. But as always, I'll see you guys in the next one. Whew.